Today we have Journeys F1B Toy Golden Doodle Litter. There are three females in the litter. We have, oh, there's a little shadow. We have Yellow Ribbon Female. She is a very dark red. Um, she's actually much darker than she is on the video um, as well. Um, she should remain a nice dark red or a dark apricot, or a light red, dark apricot, full grown. Um, I'd expect her to stay pretty dark. She's only about a shade lighter underneath, but then it gets darker again at the root. So I'm guessing she'll be a nice dark red. She does have a straight coat, so plan for her to have more of a wavy, a loose wave coat full grown. A lot of times with F1B, they won't be completely um, straight, full grown, but they'll at least be wavy. Um, and then kind of a looser coat. Pink Ribbon Female, so she is a really pretty light apricot. She's gonna get lighter. I would guess her to be more of a golden full grown. So she's um, very golden right now, um, more so golden than she is apricot, but technically in the poodle world, this would be considered an apricot. So, um, but I'd call it a golden. She's probably gonna be more golden full grown. Um, she's the same as yellow, has a wavy coat. So expect to have less curl. Um, there he is in the bathroom, Mint was. Okay. Sorry, Mint. We're going to the bathroom here. Okay. This is Mint Ribbon Female. She is a cream um, color and almost like a champagne. She's going to have a wavy coat. Super, you're so cute. Um, she has a wavy coat now. She's going to have either a wavy or curly coat full grown. Um, so when her coat grows out, sometimes it'll stay just exactly like this. And then sometimes it'll get a more curly full grown. So it just kind of depends, um, you know, how their coats, their adult coats comes in. All right, so I have these three girls and they are... Moving in a groove in here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more close up. Hi, Yellow. <laughs> yellow is just as happy as can be. Mint, I would say, is a little bit more laid back. Um, and pink's kind of right in the middle. Yellow is just ready to go. I haven't seen that dark red in quite a while. It's hard to get the really dark red. It does come from the poodle line, obviously, and not the English retriever line. So sometimes it can get washed out as they you know, when they breed together, but she is almost a chocolate color. So I think she'll stay pretty dark. Um, and then the pink and mint are pretty um, average for a golden doodle. So we have, like I said, a little bit more, a little darker. You can see the three colors here. Oh, thank you, yellow. So many kisses. Um, most of your, oh my God, they're just so cute. Oh, seeing the three of them all together. So cute. Um, most of the time with toys, you're going to get a 10 to 25 pound range. So when you have a little bit larger in a litter, I think yellow or pink, one of those is the bigger one, um, mince the smaller, but one of those is the bigger one, you know, plan for that a little bit bigger of a toy. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes they'll gain three, you know, they'll go three more pounds and be 10 pounds full girl. I mean, it's, you know, once you bring them home. So sometimes they don't gain a lot of weight in that first year and others, you know, gain quite a bit. There's no rhyme or reason and there's no way to truly predict, but the idea is if you want a smaller one, choose a smaller in the litter. They're slipping around on the floor because they, oh yes, thank you, yellow. Go back to licking. Lots of kisses, girls. Um, that's actually the brothers that are whining behind them, but usually when you want a smaller one, pick one of the smaller in the litter. If you are okay with a larger, pick the largest or a larger one in the litter. So it's usually kind of your rule of thumb. 